Welcome to Rock Paper Scissors tutorial. Um, I've already created the form, but I will show you how to put it together. Um, you need a form that you can change the text to Rock Paper Scissors. That's not important. It's a nice look. You need a group box, which text you could change in the properties toolbar. You change the text, which is towards the bottom, and you can type in whatever you want. I tr I typed in choose your thrill. The group box can be found in all Windows forms, or it can be found in the containers sections of the toolbox group box here. Then you need three radio buttons with texts that say rock, paper, and scissors. The radio buttons are here. Um, there's also a label you cannot see because I made the text blank. So you put a label on and you delete all the text and it makes it blank. You also need a go button. You can put whatever text you want in there. It's just a simple button. Um, once you get that put together we can code and in this tutorial we will use random and else if else if statements so to code double click on the go button and we will come to our coding window now um, first thing we need to do is randomize and then we need to dim a variable number as an integer which we will declare later and we need three constants one rock which is going to equal one by the way if you don't know you can also declare your variables like this but it's much quicker just to declare it directly after you make it like that it's faster that way your next constant is going to be paper which is going to equal two and the final constant is going to be scissors which equals three so that'll have our three constants now we need to declare a number and number is going to equal number is going to be our random that's going to give us our random throw each time so it's going to equal RND. Well, we'll do three times RND. And this is going to make our range one through three. Well, it's going to make it up to three. So there's kind of a bug with that, but it'll work for our form. Um, now we need to start actually coding if statements. So our first if statement. The first thing we're going to do is work with radio button 1. And radio button 1 should be rock. So we're going to do if radio button 1 dot checked. Um, this is going to check if radio button 1 is checked. Um, equal and number equals rock then label one dot text and label one was the blank label we added is going to equal computer through rock draw you can put whatever text you want in there and that's going to be our draw so if they throw a rock because rock and rock is going to be a draw Next is going to be an else if radio button one dot checked and number equals paper then label one is going to equal label one dot text equals computer through paper 
you lose. If radio button one dot checked and number equals scissors, then label one dot text equals computer through scissors, you win. So that's going to be for our rock. Um, it's essentially going to be the same thing through radio button 2 and 3, which are paper and scissors. So I'm not going to step you through that, but if you still don't understand, just to go back through the first part again. Um, basically, it's checking if a radio button is checked and what the number is, which was random. The number is random. And if it's one, two, or three, then it's gonna compare with these equals rock, paper, and scissors. Then it's gonna come out with this output. So I'm not gonna step you through all the way through all three of them. I'm gonna copy and paste. And just change that to an else. If. And the only thing you need to change is what radio button it is. So if you change it to 2, then everything will be fine from there. So now we have radio button 2, which is paper. So that means we have to go to the paper and put, change it to draw. And we need to change computer through rock to you win. Now if we copy and paste this down, we will have radio button 3. Just here, scissors. So we need to change scissors to draw and paper to you win so that's it for the coding if you run it it will work but we also found out that we forgot to change this we need to change this to uh, you lose and we need to change okay papers there and the coding looks alright from there as you can see it works pretty well maybe a couple things you could fix but you can change this in any way you want and you can take what you've learned from this with randomize and create other games and this was brief tutorial be sure to subscribe to the channel and favorite the videos